Hello, hello everybody, it's Derek Friesen. Today we're gonna do air conditioner stirrups again. Um, like normal, I think we're gonna start off with my childhood modern unit. It's about 90 degrees outside, low 90s, like 93, 94. Pretty hot, I waited till the heat of the day to make this video. So here we go, we're gonna fire up my childhood GE. There's some LG red reaction for you and some shop bearing noise. It's not turning on. Oh. Now it's turning on. That's weird. I wonder if the switch is just bad. I had to push down on the switch a good bit. Well, it's working. I'll blow this over here just in case there's debris. Before I ever decide to put this in the service or take this somewhere else, this thing will need to be cleaned and cleaned really well. I'm also going to attempt to get another side panel for it, because I broke it, so, yeah. Actually, it feels cold somewhat. I guess my high-speed contact is a bit bad, so I guess we can get an arctic blast. Oh, there's high-speed. This is what this thing gets for sitting outside because I don't have anywhere to put it. I kind of feel sad for us being that this was a very special air conditioner from my childhood and this thing just has to deal with sitting outside because I don't have any place to put it. I might as well probably go stack it on top of the crossley or something just to get it off the ground. Nice lovely LG rotary. This thing's probably absolutely disgusting. Oh dear, I just, left the, I just left the filter on and all the dirt comes off of the filter and inside of the unit. It does feel pretty cold though. I think the switches are working now. I'm pretty sure he's got a bit of corrosion on them. It's a piece of paper here, if you're wondering why there's a piece of paper here. That's to keep the capillary tube from rubbing up against the side of the case so the capillary tube doesn't go bad. Um, I was a fix I did years ago on it or something. I'm not even sure. Bug is trying to crawl out. This whole unit's probably full of bugs. So this whole thing's gonna have to get used. It's nice and cool though. It's not even built head pressure yet, but it's still the air coming out of it still does feel pretty cold. So this thing thankfully still has a full charge on it. Next unit. You see air temp, fetters, room air. I don't know why. Room air just sounds like air temp, so I for some reason continue. Some reason I decided to call this thing an air temp. It's the fetters. I actually do have an air temp front grill. I might as well throw that on here for probably the next video I make of this thing. It works though. Very cold. Quails feel nice and cold. in the camera but also I don't like how when I blow it away I don't feel any of the cold air 
and the nameplate actually does say that it is fetters so I'm guessing the ones that were labeled as room air were probably somewhat rare but just another little rebadge I'm pretty sure there was also some carry cools that had this badge on it too it would have been made late 80s like this And pretty much like to step up if you didn't want to deal with a pl small plastic carry cool. And does have a vent on it. I can actually show it to you. There's a bug on me. I'm just gonna cut this thing off. I don't think I'm going to mess with this whirlpool. I actually messed with it yesterday. And just just not in the mood to deal with this thing. And I'm, that's genuinely my excuse. So we'll go on to the other units. This thing has a rattle, but it's just a back grill. Ugh. This, the front grill is actually off of this Emerson. I decided to throw it on here, and I actually really like how it looks. Good. There's a possible chance when I do put this thing into use, it'll probably have this grill on it. Because I honestly think the original grill that went with this was somewhat ugly. I actually have a good look at that, even though I've showed it to you before. You know, the crossing's made by Emerson. She saw a few pictures of, uh, that, the, that the old owner showed me of this unit was taken apart, and it actually has EQK stickers on it. There's some cobwebs building up. I'm not firing up the 60s Emerson. Um, just don't feel like it. Um, I'll, I'll probably wait a while and then fire up that 60s Emerson. But I ran this a few weeks ago off camera when I when I first put it on the pile, and the back grill was rattling really bad. It seems to be not doing it as bad or something. And then there's the Emerson, which I might as well show you the back of the Emerson. It doesn't have any Emerson branding on it, so when I first saw that I wrote Emerson quite a pull across the bottom. It got used for a bit, and now it's got a service. I pretty much just brought it at home because I wanted to I wanted to take the grill off of it and put it on this. And eventually, it was, if it was going to stay in my friend's basement for long enough, it was going to be scrapped, so... Works pretty good too. Like this is ice cold air too. Part of the, this I will say is the best running unit in my collection. The only issue with this one is that this one does shake. I think the back fan blades off balance or one of the fans off balance. So I guess I'm guessing that one I guess is the smoothest running unit. That one or my that one or the Keystone if I still had the Keystone. Honestly, we don't know what ever happened to Keystone, even though that's a modern unit I kind of care for it because that one's childhood to me. Once I get that unit back, I'll probably make a video going through the story behind it. Um, if I can actually try to obtain that unit back. There was another one on Facebook Marketplace where the guy wanted like 100 bucks for it. And I'm Honestly, you could be better off getting a new unit for that price. And honestly, that unit's a very cheesy modern air conditioner and it's not worth that amount of money. So, yeah. I would have probably bought it. No, honestly, just because those things are kind of special to me. They, he also had an 8K Keystone as well, which i never seen one of those in the 8K format. Oh, hi. You can see that it shakes. This thing will be a window shaker. Thankfully, the place I plan to put this in has vinyl windows. Air out of this probably feels the coldest out of all of them, so this one probably performs the best, at least in terms of Freon. Even though this one may be very, very shaky.
There's an airplane going by and the neighbor's air conditioner is on, so I don't think we'll have a really good listen to the Freon, but we'll fire up the Emerson underneath of it. Here we go. This one has a master sheet of rotary. From what I remember, this one gets cold quite quickly. And yep, it does. It does feel like it's cold. Something else I will mention. This has a blower reel, and this one I believe just has a normal fan blade. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this has a fan blade. I also wish this one had the thing on here where it said like economy range. More like a daytime and nighttime range type deal. For some reason, I just really like how long some of the top of the line Emersons were like that trying to get one of those hopefully i'm getting an 80s emerson with like the square buttons like the um oh dear i think it's like the compact models i believe that one's an 8k but it doesn't have a front grill so i'm probably gonna put either this girl on or the one from the crossley on if it fits um hopefully it will but if so chances are that one will probably get used at my dad's house too um even though i think that one has a rotor x in it actually i'm not sure I won't be getting that one until next year, though, so be patient with me. Also, an Emerson like this, like the more the top of the line model, that I think has a type of thermostat set up range in my neighborhood, and it has a reset because I can hear it from outside. I have to be quiet enough. Planning on asking about that one eventually, being that these Emersons are my favorite units. There's a little thing for the vent switch. It does work somewhat. You know, it's gonna be all out of vent to this. Actually, I think I'll, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's capable of adding a vent. I'm not sure yet. No need. I have that other Emerson control panel, and I think that one has a date, has a energy saving option on it as well. I just have to look to see where that's at. Let me throw that on here. Even though this is like a kind of a base model unit. I still kind of wish I, I had a more of a top of the line in UK. Get the knob off. There's also a few scratches here. This one has a somewhat bad scratch here. Nice and cold though. I will say nothing better than a vintage unit. These things probably work the best at getting cold. Yeah, this thing is not efficient at all. It's an R22 machine. The fan is fitting down. Oh, it spun down. I guess we'll plug in a WCI to use it needs a new fan motor. And just fire it out up for a few short seconds and listen to that run, I guess. It would be nice if there wasn't a bunch of speakers here. Fan motor is either locked up or seized. I mean, locked up or dead. It's a McMillan. I had an issue where I found a Frigidaire gallery line and window air conditioner from 2000. One of the ones with the digital controls, the ones I actually really wanted. And that one had an, had that going on with it. If anyone in the Wayne County area actually has a early 2000s Frigidaire gallery branded window air conditioner made by WCI, heck yeah, I would be interested in buying that off of you or trading you another unit for it. Um, just really like those. Actually, I am aware of one. Um, honestly, I prefer the digital, but I wouldn't complain if I got the one with the rotary knobs, because I know that one will actually last. You know, the controls on those seem to be pretty robust. Hand motors on it bad, so I shouldn't be doing this for a while, but... Whatever. It's not that big of a deal.